Sure, I'm Zothet. I'm one of the founding general partners at Signia. Uh, Signia is an early stage venture capital firm that invests in seed and kind of series A tech companies across a, a wide variety of different markets. Um, I got my start in the Valley uh, as an entrepreneur at the age of 19. I dropped out of Stanford um, and started my first company uh, and have been doing it for the last 15 or 16 years. And then uh, in the last couple of years decided to start Signia. So this is another path at entrepreneurship uh, and starting a venture capital fund um, to serve entrepreneurs. Uh, and it's been a super rewarding and exciting experience. Yeah, I mean, I'm truly the definition of, of serial entrepreneur. And uh, some, in some ways, I think the serial entrepreneur moniker is, is one that should get more uh, closely aligned with the serial killer uh, moniker because it, it takes a certain psychosis, I feel like, to be a serial entrepreneur. Uh, and I think what you just have to become immune to is the fact that you're going to have a lot more failure than you're going to have success. And what you're just trying to look for is having more success, I guess, in the end financially, or at least one success is all it takes. You don't need many, many, but you can have a lot of failures, and this is a great ecosystem that encourages that. Um, I've been a part of startups that have gone completely south. I've been a part of startups that have gone extremely, extremely well. I've been a part of those that have gone sideways. Um, but the key for me has always been to learn from those mistakes and move forward. Um, and so what I always tell people is that it's not failure, it's feedback. Um, and so if you look at it that way, you're constantly moving you know, from failure to failure, uh, but that's the path to success for, for everyone. Um, you know, learn, repeat, learn, repeat, and slowly continue to get better and better. It's the rare. You know, I think you have to be, um, you know that you're really passionate about something when you find yourself in the shower thinking about it. That's kind of my true test. Uh, and whatever it is that you're thinking about in the shower uh, is, you know, generally something that you should be spending your time on. And if you're not thinking about it in the shower and you're thinking about something else, then you're probably not super passionate about it. So I don't know if the shower test is like a widely known phenomenon, but I think it applies to entrepreneurship as well. You have to be thinking it and breathing it um, and uh, it be part of your core DNA. Because um, if not, what's the point in spending you know, that much time on it. Yeah, uh, so what do, we, what do we look for in teams uh, and in companies, you know, in this early stage? I mean, a lot of what we do is formational, meaning, you know, it's one or two people and an idea. Maybe there's an early prototype or a product. Um, for us, and this is not necessarily true of all uh, uh, investors, but we, we generally look for people that Maybe they have zero startup experience before, but they've excelled at something in life. Um, and you know, past performance does indicate future success. And so you know, it could be as you know, something, if, depending on their age, like getting into a great college or university, right? That, that arduous process of convincing people you know, to accept you to go to their fine academic institution and you to give them money um, you know, is certainly one that you know, is in the early days a good indicator of early success. Um, you know, another one, you know, could be, you know, looking at outside hobbies, the stuff that they do. Um, so there's some, there's some measure of basically of, of their ability to excel and their grit. Uh, I know that's, a, that's maybe a little bit of an overused term, but, you know, that kind of maniacal, and it comes through, there's no way of describing it necessarily, but once you talk to a person, you really understand what, what really drives them. I would be proud to be an NYU Stern Venture Fellows mentor.